This right here is the 15 inch MacBook Pro 2012. Guys, when this came out, it was the best thing after Nigerian Jellof. But this is 13 years later. Is this MacBook still what you're going for? Or should you dodge it and save your money? Remember, that's what I write on my channel. I tell you guys, you know, gadgets, device, MacBook pieces, you know, if they are what you're going for, or you should just probably go for something better. So, we're talking about everything MacBook Pro 2012. So, guys, is this MacBook what you're going for today? The 2012 MacBook Pro. The short answer is yes and no. Well, to get the full details, just watch this video to the very end and make sure I give you a thumbs up, subscribe, and also click on the bell notification icon if you've not done that before. Because right on my channel, we review everything gadgets. Okay, now let us proceed. So, this big boy is actually very big, guy. This is 15 inch MacBook, man, and this is heavy. First of all, the design, this is very heavy. Like, it's one of the heaviest MacBook I've ever, you know, held my hands on, right? Like, this is, this is like, this is the M1 2020. This is the 2015 MacBook Pro. And even behind me is the M5, and, you know, the M5, right? This weighs 2 kg. And for the body build, this was when Apple really cared about its users. Because, come on, this is, it has all the ports you can ever think of. You won't need any extension if you get this MacBook by the end of this video, obviously, right? Unless we have MagSafe charging ports, we have the Ethernet, we have the FireWire, we have the Thunderbolt 1, we have two USB 3.0 ports, we have an SD card slot and microphone and headphone ports. Now, we also have the battery indicator that shows you, you know, the percentage of a battery, even though this MacBook is closed. I'm not sure I've seen it on any other MacBook apart from this. Right, then on the right side, you have an infrared port for Apple's old remote control, a sleep-wake LED light that flashes when your MacBooks are asleep, and also a DVD drive. This is actually the last MacBook to feature one. And there's also a security lock spot. At the bottom of this MacBook, we have just the four classic rubber feet. However, as you can see, just one is remaining here. And this MacBook is a bit scratched up, like, come on, it's been 13 years. <laughs> yeah. Then now, at the front, we have this glowing Apple logo, right, which, from 2016 series, they still be using it. And as of 2019, we stopped receiving the glowing logo. So from the M1, the M2 upwards, it's just this type where this is how it looks right now. Okay, so nothing glowing. But I sort of prefer this whole glowing stuff. I don't know. But when it came out with this MacBook, it was draining the battery. Like it felt like it made the battery die faster i'll come to the battery in, in the battery and charging part but i just want to share it right here okay, so when it comes to the design i love that it has all the ports right everything you need because when i'm using my m1 or probably the m4 i need to get an extension right and if i'm to probably go out and i mistakenly forget my extension i'm stuck because i cannot use my drive or probably there are a lot of i cannot use with my macbook right yeah, but with this, you don't need to get any of that. But the size and the weight, this is heavy. 2.02 kg. Like, <laughs> it feels like you're going to be gymming with this MacBook. Come on. <laughs> so guys, in my next video, I'm going to be telling you which MacBook you should go for. From the 2012 to the 2015 to the M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, yes. If you're a student, you're, an, you're a video editor, you're a programmer, you just want a MacBook because of having a MacBook sick, I'll talk about all this in my next video. So make sure you are subscribed so that when I upload that video, you'll be notified. Now to this place. So this is a 15.4 inch LCD panel. It also has anti glare which was one of the you know, prominent feature as of when it was released. However, talking about the quality, it's not so good. And probably because um, I'm, I'm used to, you know, better MacBook quality. I've used, like I said, the M1, the M4, the M5, the M3. So now coming back to the 2012, it's so noticeable for me. However, let's say you do not have a PC before or you're coming from just your smartphone. You want to use it to watch movies or probably do other things. You may not get to notice this, right? But for me, it's kind of obvious right here. Yeah, now to the keyboard. Okay, we have the speakers beside it. We have the power button. Now, the power button is different from the, it's different from, it's separate from the keyboard, right? All I'm going to have on more recent flagship, right? But I still like how this is. They move to the keyboard itself. It's clicky. Let me just show you a sample. 
hopefully you get to hear what I'm doing. And for the trackpad, it's also clicky. But for recent generations, we have like this first touch. So it's still slightly different. Okay, and the speakers, when I played music with this MacBook of recent, I did not also like the audio quality, right? There have been some improvements over the past few years. Now off to the performance. I will leave the whole specs aside, you know, what can this MacBook handle? This MacBook cannot handle much. Now, if you're going for this MacBook, let's say you want to edit videos. I'm not sure. The latest app for a video editor is CapCut, and guys, this cannot even handle it, right? When it comes to 2015 MacBook Pro, you cannot edit videos in 4K, but at least any TP videos, you are good to go. But this, man, 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 say no, no, right? So for the performance, it is not so good. If you're a video editor, you want to do anything heavy, this is like this should not even be in your mind at all, right? But let's say you're a student, just go do, Google Docs, you know, WPS, just something very simple, right? And probably just watch movies. Or the performance is going to it's going to serve you well. But anything other than that, then you are going to just you won't enjoy the laptop at all. Once you get to cap cuts, then it's videos on this MacBook is going to keep on hanging. I'll talk about it's probably 2K or even 4K videos. And recently we have 8K because most phones now can shoot in 8K. So 8K may just even, <laughs> the level is just going to go off entirely. <laughs> so it is insane. Yeah, so I wouldn't advise you to go for this unless you just want to just do something very, 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 very light, like I said. Yes, and now to the battery and the charging. So this charges very fast, yes, even as of today. Okay, it's still charging very fast. But how long does it last? Remember, if you're going for this MacBook, this is like, you cannot see it brand new. So you're obviously getting used, right? And we all know that MacBook, Apple, they, ha they have this thing called the battery capacity where it tells you how strong your battery is going to last, okay? So for this, since it's the used MacBook, I, once it's fully charged, around just three hours of usage, average usage before it goes down to zero. And somehow I think it's still fair Looking at the fact that it was released 12 years ago, sorry, 13 years ago, man, it is still a very solid battery, right? But if you're going for this, you can check your technician. If they have a good battery, just go swap it and you still have a longer battery life, okay? Now for the webcam, and I've talked about the audio, which is not so great. Now for the webcam, let us see if you get this MacBook and let's say you want to go for Google Meet, Zoom, or probably just webcam and all. Let us see the quality on this PC. So I'm going to do this right here with you guys, it's my lights. Okay, and you know, I know most times, if you want to have your probably meetings and all, you may not have this whole big light in front of you, right? But let us still see what it gives me with this light in front of me. So guys, this is me testing the webcam on this MacBook. Right here, yeah, it's looking pinkish, even in my front. Yes, I know my background is pink, but my, my whole face is actually very pink here, probably because of the display, right? And while I speak, while you look at the webcam, I want you to listen to the quality of the mic, the mic on this MacBook here. Just listen to it. I would not work on this, this part of the video. So what you hear, what you're seeing right here is how the exact quality of the mic and also the webcam. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you think of this. Is it is it good? Is it is it poor? Let me know. And if you're watching this video at this point, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I keep on creating, I even reviewing more MacBooks just for you guys. Okay, so let's proceed to the next part of this video. So to the software update, this MacBook stopped receiving any updates since 2019, which is the Mac West Catalina. So I'm not even sure it was going to even handle any latest Mac OS because of its performance. So yes, up to the prices and my final verdict, if you should go for this MacBook or not. Right, so this is around $150. Or let's say in Naira, this should be around probably 200,000 Naira. Yes, okay. Or just ask your vendor, I'm not certain of the price. But $150 to $200, you can get this MacBook. And looking at all the specs, honestly, the only thing I'm, I'm happy about, what I like about this MacBook is just the ports. Because it's, it is loaded. I wouldn't have to think, of, okay, I forgot my extension, I forgot this or that. I know I am good to go, regardless of what I want to do on this MacBook. But every that thing... For me, for my usage, it's a no-no. However, if you're a student or you just want to have a MacBook, let's say just to watch movies, you're moving from your phone, 
then I think this is something you should think of because it has a very wide screen, right? And you may not get to notice the, the display quality if you've not used a MacBook before, right? You can still watch your movies and probably get an earpiece or probably a Bluetooth speaker for the speaker if you do not like the quality because I do not even like it, right? However, if you are someone that, you know, use, let's say, a MacBook for a long time, okay, and you want to edit videos, you want to program, you want to do a sort of heavier task, no matter how heavy it is, then it's a no-no for you. Yes, check out my next video where I compare, I talk about all the MacBooks I've used before, and I will tell you, okay, this MacBook is for this person, this is for that, and just like this is for just students who want something very, very minimal and don't want to spend much, okay, this can still serve them. Just make a few changes here, probably change the battery or just a tweak here and tweaks there, you are good to go. Okay, so guys, I will see you in my next video.